joe what up so i'm going to show you how i did master this song for you to sound like this so let me play it for you guys then after that i'll go through the process with you I did on it is um let me just solo uh, mute all these ones and listen to how it sounds without the effect then I'll go through the process and explain why I'm putting certain plugins on it. Yes. Yeah, so now you can actually hear the difference, right? So um so what i did here is first of all i put this distortion on it um it's a plugin from waves yes but if you're having waves nine upwards you're going to get it so what i'm actually doing here is i didn't choose the spike or never i think i chose this one because i like the way it sounded on it what i'm adding to it is i'm adding some color to the sound the overall sound you get it and during mastering to is about you adding some color to your sound and also making it sound loud right so i'm adding some color to it and this is what i'm actually doing this distortion here i'm actually um pushing the drive knob around 0.5 during the mastering stage we don't do um we don't do too much of it we just do some little little things to it then we just move on we don't actually do too much of it to it that's my opinion that's how i think it's supposed to be done but if you have your own way yeah then you are good to go so this is what i'm actually doing i'm adding some color to it or um, some sa saturation to it by pushing the drive around 0 0.5 yes so that's the only thing i did on this plugin then the next thing is i wanted to glue everything together because i did compression on the vocals alone and um i work on the beat separately before i just exported them to be one like this so during this stage the compressor is actually making everything to be one you get it so i'm making sure that my gain reduction is not bypassing this one for me here so what i'm doing is i'm uh, slow attack and hot fast release slow attack and fast release unlike maybe if you're doing vocal you can actually do fast attack and slow release by this time around is the other way uh, is the other way around so fast at a uh, slow attack and what fast release so if i play with these two plugins on it this is how it sounds So I'm gluing everything together. So if you watch this meter here, you can see it's not bypassing one. You get it? Yes. So that was the idea, trying to glue everything together. If you actually go beyond this, I think then the base and everything is not actually tightened well. So I need to work on that one. Maybe go back to my mixing and do everything well. Uh, so I think it's not bypassing one. Slow attack and everything is working nice. So the next thing is EQ. The, what I'm using this EQ for is I'm, I'm cutting these low ends and in science we know that our ears can hear 
below this frequency here you get uh, from 28 or 30 downward there uh, yes i think so if i play it and solo it you can see that here you wouldn't hear anything but if you move this side you hear so i have to clear all these noises and to make the sound uh, bad i have to clear all of them from there and then the high to the highest to start is actually not doing anything so let me play it and solo them then you see the difference i know wha what i'm talking about so i'm just clearing everything so you can actually see that uh, whatever i'm putting on it i'm having a reason for putting that on it i'm not just putting on it because i saw it in a youtube tutorial or i'm just doing whatever i want to do everything that i'm putting on it has a reason so let me solo them then you see what i'm talking about so around the 19,000 you are not hearing anything 28,000 hertz too you are not hearing anything so you have to use headset studio headset or studio monitor so that you can know it right that you are not hearing anything if you are using phone you are not actually going to hear it well so the next thing is making it loud after coloring it and putting certain frequencies and other things together gluing it then i mean the next thing is making the sound loud right so that's what i'm actually using it to make the sound loud so even this thing if you just put it on it it just makes it uh, sound loud just like that so i didn't even touch anything on it because i like the loudness of it after um checking my meter here so so that's what i'm using to check my loudness here so that whenever it goes outside and it's competing the ones on market it wouldn't be like my sound would be down whilst the other ones would be louder than this so if you listen to this i want the uh, lufs meter here to be around uh, eight point something or less seven downwards yes yeah, and here to the same eight point something or seven downwards so these two which whichever way it is most of the time i use the short term to check it so let's play it and listen to it and if a time can wait, you don't see me. I beg you, don't you want me? Cause I kind of make so busy. I know I'm pocket empty, so tell everybody. We want that, cause my shorty. Oh, my lady, this one will be so bloody. Tell everybody. We want that, cause my shorty. Oh, my lady, this one will be so bloody. You can see we hit it minus 8.6 here this one was around minus seven yeah so that's how it is so when it hits we can see that the meters actually hit our targets minus eight downwards here so we leave it there i like it the way it sounds and i didn't touch any or anything i just put it on it and i like the loudness of it so i left it like that and the last thing that i did here is i put a limiter on it this limiter what i'm actually doing is on this limiter is i'm actually sealing the top you get it the ceilings i'm actually so that whenever it, uh, it is being played in another speaker or anywhere um i wouldn't get a distorted sound for my sound you get it yeah so i'm pushing this out ceiling around minus minus 0 0.6 minus 0 0.6 so minus 0 0.6 db whenever it is playing and the frequencies are actually hitting around that gain level it will actually come in there and make sure we are not bypassing that we are not picking above that you get it so it shouldn't pick so we have to get some room here for that so this is what a, a, a limiter is actually doing it is limiting all those bad frequencies above minus 0 0.6 so that everything can actually work perfectly Baby, don't you worry, cause I kinda make so busy I know I'm pocket empty so tell everybody we want that cause my shorty. So 